I made a mistake in recalling the events of 12 years ago. We are one of four Chinook helicopters flying north this morning, third in line. We quickly make our drop and then turn southwest. Suddenly, without knowing why, we learn we've been ordered to land in the desert. On the ground, we learn the Chinook ahead of us was almost blown out of the sky. That hole was made by a rocket-propelled grenade, or RPG. Though the chopper pilots are too shaken to let us interview them, we learn they were shot at by some of those waving civilians. Uh, two of our four helicopters were hit by ground fire, including the one I was in. No kidding. Uh, RPG and, and AK-47. What, what altitude were you hit at? We were only at 100 feet doing 100 forward knots because we had these massive pieces of bridge beneath us on slings. What happens the minute everybody realizes you've been hit? Uh, we figure out how to land safely, and we did. So we got hit, we sat down, everyone was okay. Our captain took a purple heart injury to his ear in the cockpit. We want to share with you a great moment that took place here in New York last night. The story actually started with a terrible moment a dozen years back when the helicopter we were traveling in was forced down after being hit by an RPG. U.S. Army Command Sergeant Major Tim Turpak was responsible for the safety of Brian Williams and his NBC News team after their Chinook helicopter was hit and crippled by enemy fire. Both men, both Rangers fans, have been reunited for the first time in 12 years for tonight's game. I want to apologize. I said I was traveling in an aircraft that was hit by RPG fire. I was instead in a following aircraft. We all landed after the ground fire incident and spent two harrowing nights in a sandstorm in the Iraq desert. This was a bungled attempt by me to thank one special veteran and by extension, our brave military men and women, veterans everywhere, those who have served while I did not, I hope they know they have my greatest respect and also now my apologies.